Haisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day one subscribers, all of my new subscribers. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. So this is just a general energy check-in for the sign of Aquarius. This is my series called Behind the Scenes in Love. So this is just what is going on currently along with the outcome. Now, before I jump into your reading, I just want to let you know about the promotion that I have going on right now. From now until December 20th, if you purchase a full in-depth personal reading with me, you will receive three courses absolutely free. Now, these are, these are not just any programs or courses. These are programs that teach you about the laws of the universe, that teach you about how to attract money, and that teach you about the Kabbalah, which is the tree of life, which is a part of what we are as within, so without. So especially in these challenging times, I think it was a really good idea. And I'm very, very, um, I'm very grateful that it was suggested for us to offer these programs because they are very much needed, especially in these challenging times. So instead of worrying about what's going on around you and being in this space of lack mentality of scarcity, get the programs and figure out how to, or learn, I should say, learn how to stand in a space and embody that energy of abundance from within so you can create that without. Learn how to have a, a sense of well-being so no matter what is going on around you, you know that you're okay and you create your own systems of economy. It doesn't matter what's going on outside of you in the outside world. You're focused on what you are creating for your own world. And it is very possible to create abundance for yourself regardless of what's going on in the world today. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to jump right into your reading Aquarius. So we have here... Patience in reverse, Knight of Wands, Six of Swords, Four of Swords, and Ten of Coins. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm picking up the energy of a feminine right now. A feminine who is dealing with a player. Mm-hmm. So... You may have been on and off with this person because this person is very flighty energy. One minute they're there, the next minute they're not. One minute you guys are together, the next minute you're not. So this person um, has a very, uh, a very, I'm hearing a very high propensity to cheat. Mm -hmm. So even if you think that you're with this person, you know that they have others in the background because that is just their energy. That's just how they are. So this person, they abandoned you. They left you. You weren't even expecting this. They kind of blindsided you. So I'm seeing a scene right now where a feminine is crying because she found out again that this Knight of Wands was cheating. The Knight of Wands comes in and talks all this shit. I'll never do it again. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. And you forgive this person and you get back with this person thinking that they're going to actually change this time for the hundredth time. And they don't. This time, though, they actually choose somebody else. Spirit said it's because they believe that they can always come back to you. Mm -hmm. it's, they know that they could always come back to you. Mm -hmm. So it's like they have this mentality of they just go and play around and do whatever and sample whatever they want to sample and come back to you because you are... It's not even home because to them, it's more like a... You accept their behavior. Mm -hmm. They know that you'll be upset for a little while, but that you'll get over it because you miss them. This person is arrogant as fuck as well. Like it, their energy is making me just want to like push them, like get away from me. Mm -hmm. So this person abandoned you out of the blue. Yes, they did. And they left. Uh, for some of you, this person moved out of your place and moved into some with someone else. Mm -hmm. This person abandoned you and your family. For those of you that have a child or children with this person, they left. And this put you in a lot of anxiety. Uh, I just feel like my stomach, my heart, like 
this person broke your heart, like really, really crushed you, really put you in a place of just, I'm hearing despair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For some of you, it's like this person forced you, they were a catalyst for you though, to focus on your own shit. Like real deal. They were a catalyst for you to start building up, a, laying a solid foundation for yourself because this person did not create stability. They did not bring security into your life. As a matter of fact, things were very unstable when they were around. One minute you're together, one minute you're a family, the next minute you're not. The next minute you don't even know where you stand with them. And it was going on like this for a few years. So you started to focus on yourself. You started to heal. So you're currently taking this time right now to just heal. Heal from all the pain. Feel, heal from all the hurt. Heal from all the drama and problems and chaos that this person brought into your life. Just problems. So you are healing from that right now. And you just, you may not even be talking to a lot of people that much. You know, uh, for some of you, I'm feeling the energy of a feminine who's really actually very grateful for quarantine because it's a reason. It, it gives you a reason to just stay home and focus on yourself or focus on you and your kids and building what you need to build for yourself. But you are, you are creating 10 of cups for yourself. This person, it's like a blessing in disguise because look at this happy home, you know, like prosperity, security, safety. Like you're in a better place now because of this. <laughs> okay, so let me let me show you how the, the beauty of the universe and how the universe rewards people now. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is currently, it's like you said, you know what? I'm not gonna fuss and fight anymore about this. I'm not gonna try to, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna try to get you back or try to explain why you should stay with me or even stay with your family. It's like you just, I'm feeling an energy of someone that just, a feminine that just peacefully said, okay, this is it. You know, and you peacefully just like, I'm hearing fall back. You know, you just went your own way. You said, okay, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm actually very tired of this and this is not getting me anywhere in life. So I'm going to focus on creating the things that I want to create for myself. So it's like you just peacefully redirected mm -hmm. and that's what spirit just gently guided you in a new direction mm -hmm. one that was going to help you get your 10 of coins yes your pentacles mm -hmm. happiness this is the whole but this is this is you're doing good you're doing real real good right and it was this heartbreak that was a catalyst for you to just focus on your own shit and laying your own foundation mm-hmm I'm hearing a feminine saying, I will be the mother and the father for my children. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. We do not need you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's just, it's this energy that's very like, it's, it's not a give up like you defeated me. It's, it's just like a, a give up like I, I just let go of this. You know, I'm, I'm getting too old to be dealing with these things now. That's what it feels like. Mm-hmm. So, your outcome, you have the temple path, mm -hmm. <laughs> we have the emperor, king of cups, ten of wands in reverse, and the king of wands. <laughs> oh, honey, 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 <laughs> honey, honey, honey. So, your outcome in the near future, you are going to have options, honey. Uh, and when I say option, I don't mean just like any old body, <laughs> okay? You have the emperor, you have the king of cups, mm -hmm, vying for your attention, wanting to walk your unique path with you. And you know what? These, these options, they were divinely guided. It's like... There is a quote, need nothing, desire everything, choose what shows up. So it's you working towards your, currently working towards your 10 of coins, your 10 of pentacles. You're focusing on your family. You're focusing on your foundation. 
You're focusing on making sure that your foundation is solid, stable, secure. So, you know what Spirit did? The universe said, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you your pick right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to give you your pick. I'm hearing my good and faithful servant. I'm going to give you your pick right now. Because you desire to be with somebody. So I'm going to give you a choice. And you choose. Mm -hmm. So the universe sent you an emperor, king of cups. You have options. There's even a knight of wands here. Sorry, king of wands here. But the thing is, you have to choose wisely here. Right? Because some of these were sent from the divine. And, and this person, the king of wands, was not. Mm -hmm. So, this king of wands is the person from the past that left, that abandoned you for someone else. Yeah? And they're going to come back. But they're coming, they're coming back because they see that you have options. They see that you're happy and you're doing good without them. Mm -hmm. So, it's... um. There's this Chris Brown song. It's called the, the Grass Was Greener on the Other Side. You thought the grass was greener on the other side? So this King of Wands thought that the grass was greener on the other side and decided to leave you and abandon you and your family. For those of you this resonates with that have a child or children with this King of Wands. And when you leveled the fuck up on them and just focused on yourself and went about your business. You weren't calling them, crying, let's get back together, you know, bending over backwards to prove to them that you're the one. You weren't You weren't in pick me mode. You weren't in that energy. You were just like, I'm focused on my own shit now. That's what I need to do. Like I said earlier, I'm too old for this stuff now, right? So now that they see that you have options, they want to come around now and talk all this shit to you, you know, whisper sweet nothings, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, you know, this person, this king of wands, this is the energy of someone that will come around to you and um, talk about the person that they left you for to you. Oh, she does this or she doesn't do this. She doesn't cook like you or she's not as good as in bed as you and I missed you and blah, blah, blah. The same way how they went to the person they left you for and talked about you to that person. This person has issues. Mm -hmm. They have issues. And they don't know what they want. But that is neither here nor there. That is also not your problem. Because you have options. You have real options. You have an emperor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have king of cups. Yes. Mm -hmm. That they were divinely guided to run into your path. <laughs> they were divinely guided towards you. Mm -hmm. Spirit saying pick. Pick which one you want. They're both good for you. Pick which one you want. And you may already know this person or these, these people or not. For some of you, um, I'm picking up that one of them you already know. So it's either the emperor or the king of cups. You know, this could be a business owner. The emperor could be a biz very successful business owner. Mm -hmm. the, biz um, the king of cups could also be a business owner as well. Mm-hmm. A professional, a lawyer, doctor. Mm -hmm. But this person is, they're considerate, they're generous, they're responsible, mm -hmm. and they're smart. Yeah. Then you have the emperor. This, this energy, this masculine energy wields power like they run shit. Mm -hmm. This is boss, boss. Mm -hmm. This emperor is... The boss's boss. Mm hmm Yeah. Mature, stable. They're a leader. Mm hmm They come from wealth. Mm hmm Yeah. And they're confident. And they show up as a great father, brother, husband. Just male influence. Mm hmm Someone that wants to see you do good, wants to support you, wants to see you excel in life. Yes. Mm hmm these are your options. But I'm picking up your energy. You don't want king of wands. You don't want them. You don't want this energy. No. No. I'm just feeling the energy of someone that's just like bored of it. Like you're just tired of this stuff, of the same old, same old with this person. 
Mm -hmm. You are very well going to be exploring your options. Mm -hmm. May the best man win. <laughs> That's all I can say to you, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. But this is, this is divine intervention for you. This is spirit showing you that you have better things for you. So you don't have to keep, um, what is it, staying on this treadmill with somebody. Mm -hmm. Staying stuck in this karmic cycle with somebody where nothing's happening. There's no progress being made. It's just the same bullshit all day, every day, over and over again. Spirit is showing you that there's a new path for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is. A divinely guided path, a unique path for you. Mm -hmm. And you will have companionship on this path. Mm -hmm. Someone who will walk this path with you, support you in whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. Someone who will be your biggest cheerleader, your number one fan. I'm hearing your best friend. They'll be like your best friend. For some of you, this is your best friend. Mm -hmm. There is a feminine, Aquarius feminine, where you usually, you get along better with males for some reason. You may have grown up with a lot of brothers. So you seem, you have an affinity for understanding males are masculine energy better than feminine energy. And one of these, one of these male friends, these masculine friends that you have, they are absolutely, utterly in love with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you kind of know that. But you never gave them a chance before because Knight of Wands was always in and out. Sorry, yeah, yeah, Knight of Wands was always in and out. But you're not, you're going to be looking at them a different way now. Like, hmm, let me see what he's saying. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And these options, these options are looking for family. Mm-hmm. Blended family. You know, starting their own family with you. But these these options, the Emperor and the King of Cups, they are options that are viable options. Good options. You know, they want what you want. They have big visions, big dreams. And they are stable. Mm -hmm. They bring stability and security. They create it. Mm-hmm. So this King of Wands is going to try to come around because he sees that you have some options that uh, he can't even step to. So he's going to try to come with the same old stupid lame tricks, but they're not going to work this time. Because this King of Wands is going to take an L this time. Yeah, they lost you. I'm hearing they lost you for good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because this, this King of Wands is a deceiver. Yeah. They're a liar and they just bring problems and difficulties into your life. When they come around, shit just starts to go down. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, this King of Wands, they'll come around and, and make it seem like they really want to be with you and they really want to be a family. And maybe for a little while, they'll pull it off. You know, they'll put on that show that they want to be around. You know, do all the things that you want them to do for a little while. But trust and believe, honey, this King of Wands has someone in the background Probably the one that they abandoned you for is still there. Mm -hmm. Still there in the background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Aquarius, this is what I have for you. If this reading resonates with you, I encourage you to give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. If it doesn't, that is okay too. Um, I encourage you to click the notification button or you could just book me for a personal reading. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.